Break news. Welcome to today's headlines. Hype up threatens socialite. Kubana chief priest accuses Imo governor of sharing phones to youth to spread lies. Hype up threatens socialite. Kubana chief priest accuses Imo governor of sharing phones to youth to spread lies. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, stay tuned as I read to this news. The indigenous people of Biafra, Hypop, has accused Hope Uzodima, the Imo state governor of distributing smartphones to youth in the state to smear the image of those agitating for the freedom of the Southeast. This was contained in a statement issued on Thursday by Ima Powerful, the group's media and publicity secretary. According to the statement, Uzo Duma has allegedly paid some youth in the state and given them mobile phones with which they propagate lies against IPOP, its military wing, the Eastern Security Network and other Biafran agitators. The group described Uzo Dima as an enemy of the state, stressing that if he had good intentions for Imo state people, he could have created better job opportunities for the youth engaging them in profitable ventures, such as opening a phone producing factory where the youths will be employed. IPOB also warned Nigerian socialite Pascal Chibuike Okechuku, popularly known as Kubana chief priest, against interfering with the affairs of the state. The statement reads, the attention of the indigenous people of Biafra, Hypop, under the command of our indefatigable liberator, Mazi Unamdi Oku Chuku Kanu, has been drawn to the sharing of smartphones by the Supreme Court Administrator of Imo State, Hope Zodima, to the Gulibu Mind and Youth he is recruiting to attack Hypop members on social media platforms. These attack dogs and ERAD are paid to propagate lies and smear campaigns against IPOP, Eastern Security Network, ESN, and Biafra agitators. We blame those he is deceiving with smartphones, material things, and cash to oppose those fighting for their freedom. If Hope Uzodima as correct intentions of Imo State youth, he wouldn't have given them smartphones to attack IPOB. He would have provided industries and companies where the youth will work and produce phones for sale. Himo youth should know that Uzo Dima is taking them for granted. They should stop being gullible. We are warning Mazi Pascal Chibu Ike Okechuku, popularly known as Kubana Chief Priest, to steer clear and not strike a deadly deal with Hope Uzodema. He should not dare IPOB. Let him continue his restaurant business and not get deceived by Hope Uzodema and his APC co travelers. Anybody who knows this man, she told him to, to retrace his steps and don't allow Uzo Dima to use him to fight innocent people. The indigenous people of Biafra, Hypop, has accused Hope Uzo Dima, the Imo state governor, of distributing smartphones to youth in the states to smear the image of those agitating for the freedom of the Southeast. This was contained in a statement issued on Tuesday by Ima Powerful, 
the group's media and publicity secretary. According to the statement, Uzudima has allegedly paid some youth in the state and given them mobile phones with which they propagate lies against IPOB. Its militant weak, the Eastern Security Network and other Biafran agitators. The group described Uzodima as an enemy of the state, stressing that if he had good intentions for Imo state people, he could have created better job opportunities for the youth, engaging them in profitable ventures such as opening a phone producing factory where the youth will be employed. IPOB also won Nigerian socialite Pascal Chibu Ike Okechuko, popularly known as Kubana chief priest against interfering with the affairs of the state. The statement reads, The attention of the indigenous people of Biafra, Hypop, under the command of our indefatigable liberator, Mazi Unnamdi Okechuku, Kano, has been drawn to the sharing of smartphones by the Supreme Court Administrator of Imo State, Hope Uzudima, to the gullible mind, and youth he is recruiting to attack IPOB members on social media platforms. These attack dogs and herat are paid to propagate lies and smear campaigns against IPOB, Eastern Security Network, ESN, and Biafral agitators. We blame those he is deceiving with smartphones material things and cash to oppose those fighting for their freedom. If O Uzudima has correct intentions of Imo State youth, he wouldn't have given them funds to attack IPOB. He would have provided industries and companies where the youth will work and produce funds for sales. Imo youth should know that Uzo Dima is taking them for granted. They should stop being gullible. To my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about. Thank you for listening.